What's up YouTube? I want to come to you guys with another solid video about the importance of freedom from outcome and how putting restraints on yourself, sure they can lead to success because you're trying to curate your environment to meet a certain goal, to meet a certain deadline because you want the outcome to be a certain way. But on the flip side of that, you have to have a distance and almost a, an unattachment to that outcome because if you're so attached on a specific outcome, you're bound to create the conditions for your uh, own unhappiness. I've done this several times in my life and it's helped me get what I want in life, but boy, it really, it can uh, steal your joy. And so what I want to talk about today is how to have goals, have outcomes that you're working tirelessly to create while at the same time managing your expectations, always expecting that things won't go your way, but planning so they will. Now, that sounds contradicting, but uh, it's certainly a nuance with what I'm trying to say here. I think a big one is when you count on certain people, be it in your business, in your life, and you're, you're expecting certain things to happen, it may come from a place of, of passion and love and a vision for your business, a vision for your life and your future. But what you inevitably do is set yourself up for failure. If you need something to, to work, if you're reliant on that specific outcome because you say, if this, then I'm happy. If this condition's met, then I'll be happy. Then again, you've created conditions for unhappiness. So one way in my life I've been able to get around that is just constantly reminding myself of all the outcomes in life and how no matter what outcome it is, I still have myself. I still have my ability to make decisions. I still have my ability to create my own happiness. If you don't win a deal, if there's someone in your life that you want in their life and they're not ready for it, business partner, romantic partner, family, friend, whatever it is, you have to realize their decisions are not yours. And you literally can only control how you behave as a human, what ideals you stick to. And so when you base your happiness on the decisions of others, you immediately add volatility that you cannot control. No matter how much you try to control it, <laughs> you can't. So don't try. <laughs> don't try. Focus on what you can control. Focus on being the best version of yourself. I can't stress that enough because I haven't always lived by that. And then you go through stumps where you feel like shit and then you realize I'm feeling like shit for no reason other than my own need to control. And when you can let go of that, what is the worst that happens? What's the worst that happens? Think about, think about the worst thing that could happen and imagine that happening. Okay, walk yourself through that situation. You're still there. Nothing bad really happens. It's just your perception of it. So, the conditions of your life, you should focus on what are your conditions for your life? What are your conditions for your happiness? And do they revolve around one specific outcome? 
one specific person, one specific deal? Or are you well-rounded enough to realize there are infinite amount of those? And opportunity is infinite. When we operate from a frame of lack, we feel we have to control, protect, and dial in because we feel that if this lesson doesn't work, the next one will. If I don't get this opportunity, I won't have the next one. So it's operating from a belief of scarcity that creates those feelings that lead to unhappiness. So when you can work backwards, go up in the, the chain of your belief system up in your mind and accept that opportunity is infinite. There are endless amounts that you are privy to, that belong to you. You just have to walk through those doors. If you can accept that, then any one outcome is not really that important. So where in your life are you doing that? How is it affecting your state? Is it sucking your energy? Is it giving you energy? Are those outcomes that you're hoping to have happen tearing you apart or giving you energy? And I can say from experience when I've shifted my focus, I'm being the best version of myself and taking all of the focus off of the decisions of others and, and really gotten serious about my decisions, about how I'm showing up for people. All of the stress goes away, just falls away. So I wanted to make this video because I think in business, when you're a passionate person and anyone watching these and watching all of them, you are the person I'm trying to connect with here. The person who's trying to build their business, trying to do something that's never been done. Or going for something you've never gone for. If that's you, then your whole world is focused on goals and achieving those goals. So for someone like yourself, you need to love that about yourself. Love that you want a specific life. You want a specific outcome. You want a specific relationship. You want a specific type of money, a type of car, a type of access to things. Love that about yourself, but at the same time, love how much you get to focus on yourself. You get to focus on the habits and the processes required to get there. If I see myself falling off of the daily habits I have, I notice immediately how everything else in my life becomes affected. Everything else. It's not bullshit. It's truly the way it works. One one decision or indecision creates an entire chain of reactions that then affect your business performance or your performance as a partner, emotionally, as a friend, as a, as, as a leader, as someone who people look up to. And if you don't get that shit figured out, everyone's going to experience it. And then you're gonna wonder why certain relationships or certain goals are not being met because it's stemming all from you not taking those little things seriously. So what daily practices can you do to stay on that path? And for me, I'd say, if I don't take five to 10 minutes every morning, to completely clear my mind and think about nothing. <sighs> Just feel my breath and realize I'm a human being on a rock and spinning in space and that my life, in the grand scheme of things, is just a small little speck out of the infinity of time. If I don't do that, I get so caught up in my problems that I forget how blessed I am to be a fucking human being.
living in this modern era. So that leads into gratitude. Like if I'm not reminding myself of why I'm doing what I'm doing, then it becomes a chore. And then, then you start to detest work because it's, you don't, you're not tying it to the beauty of why you got into it in the first place. You're not tying it to the spirituality of growth and of seeing the progress happen in front of you. So you always need to be connecting your current actions with the beauty of this future you're building for yourself. So that's what I do. I write down, I, I, I write as if I've already achieved the things that I'm working towards. Because the, the less distance you can put between yourself and your goals, or you assume the identity of the person that is able to get those goals. So if you want to be a millionaire, you have to describe yourself as a millionaire already. You have to know what that feels like. You have to experience what that feels like in your current experience. You have to use your imagination. Instead of using fear, which is false expectations appearing real. Instead of using your imagination to promote fear and essentially think about all these fucking things that don't end up happening you need to take advantage of your imagination and think about all the things you want to happen think about all the things you're going to have in your life how it's going to feel when you're able to take a loved one on a trip how it's going to feel when you walk into the dealership and get the car you want how it's going to feel when you buy your own fucking house how it's going to feel when you're able to Travel anywhere in the world, buy anything you want. Like, what does that feel like? And let that childlike innocence carry you into those things happening. And so, each morning, get a Pinterest board. You know, get all the images of what you want and put it on that board and consume that board. Because our attention is the most powerful thing we have as human beings. Our imagination is the most powerful thing we have as human beings. And so you should harness that. It's literally waiting to be harnessed. Companies have realized that. That's why we have social media. That's why we have these screens in front of us. <laughs> because these corporations know how beautiful all of our brains are and they know how powerful they are when they're harnessed. And so they're harnessing them for things that you don't really give a fuck about. Why do you feel like shit after you scroll through hours of social media? Because at the end of the day, you feel it doesn't, it didn't do anything. Your attention was hijacked and your power is completely taken away. Your distance from your humanity. So take that shit back. Take ownership of that. Be very careful with what you consume. I've noticed if I've strayed off of work, I just find myself starting to scroll. <clears throat> When that happens, I, I immediately realize, wow, yep, they did it to me again. And so it makes me want to double down on controlling my attention. And so get very serious about that. Because the sooner you do that, the, the, the quicker you're able to have success because your energy and your focus, the finite resource you have every single day, that you're, you're like Avatar. You're fucking doing airbending with your own imagination and your own life force to put it to the goal you want. And if certain things, you don't want certain things to happen in five years, then don't do anything now that's gonna put you in a position to make those bad things happen. I don't like feeling this way. Okay, if I don't like feeling this way, what actions have made me feel this way? Okay, well, it's this, this. Maybe it's drinking too much, going out to the club, watching stupid social media, giving your time to people who don't really care about you and aren't aligned with your goals. Audit all of that. The sooner you audit that, the sooner you get ruthless about it, the quicker you'll have success. So those are two really big ones. Some time to yourself, meditation, whether that's closing your eyes or walking and looking at the sun and just breathing in. Just breathe in and breathe out. And do that over and over again. And write down your goals. Write down what's going to happen in your experience and how good you're going to feel when it happens. And then 
in doing that, you'll feel yourself take control. You'll feel yourself start to realize and you'll remind yourself that I get to control my experience. I get to control my thoughts. I have the power to choose my happiness. That's within me, it's within no one else. No one can take away your power. No one, can, no one can take away your joy. No one experience can take away your joy. No one can. It's all within yourself. People can add to it. People can cherish it. You can cherish it with others. But at the end of the day, if life is always rigged in your favor, <clears throat> what that means is you have You get to choose what perspective you want. You want to assess situations negatively or do you want to assess them positively? Do you want to view things as scarce resources or do you want to view things as abundant resources that you get the ability to discover in your life? So I hope this has been helpful. I feel it's my duty to make content like this because for whoever's listening, this stuff works. It's worked in my life and I know if you guys come on this journey with me and continue, my goal is to con continuously provide that value of whatever works for me, where I'm fucking up and how my fuck ups can help you not fuck up. That's what brings me a lot of fulfillment nowadays. So, there you have it. Take it easy. Always remember, you create the own conditions for your happiness. It's within yourself. It's, it's not within any certain outcome. Every outcome is the best outcome that could have happened because you're the one that gets to think it's the best. It may not be what you wanted initially, but remember, you get to control your happiness. No one else gets to do that. It's all you. So, peace, love.